G'day bowlers, Nev Rodder here. Um, I haven't made a video for you guys for a while. I've um, been a little bit off the radar. I've been focusing on um, on business, on setting up my new life in New Zealand. Um, things are going really good, so thanks for asking. Um, but yeah, I sort of thought I'd, I'd start making some videos for the channel that were to express um, you know, my, my honest opinions without any sugar coating um, about, about the game. Um, you know, to, to basically just drop in, see how everybody's going with the shooter stance, because when I implemented the shooter stance personally myself, um, I honestly believe I was about 20% better within about three months. And there's quite another, um, there's, there's quite a big bunch of people that utilize the shooter stance. Um, if you have a look at footage, have a look at um, you know Alex Marshall footage. Have a look at Perales, um, you know have a look at Cases um, stance for instance. Um, Aaron Sheriff, not saying they will use it, but just have a look. You know do your own investigating, and the more you look around, the more you realise that it's something that has been known by the elite few. Um, I'm not an elitist by any um, by any sense of the word. Um, but when you when you look around and you look at the David Bryants and you look at the you know the greatest players in the game, um, they all have one thing in common, and that is that they were utilising um, the same types of methods um, because they worked the best. So I want this video to you know literally be um, me expressing my opinion that I believe the old system of coaching isn't the right way. Um, um, yes, it can work for some people in terms of, you know, if you practice something enough, it'll give you an advantage. But when you have a look at sports like golf, for instance, um, Ben Hogan, you know, reinvented his swing and made up his own style and became the greatest golfer in the world. The fundamentals were all the same, but, you know, he was, um, he was basically reinventing it the same as David Bryant did um, because he found a way that worked better. Now, I want you to think about something for a moment, too, is, you know, we're people. Right, and you know, although people have been playing bowls for hundreds of years, some guy or some dude or lady just decided that they were going to write a book on the way they thought it should be played, whereas it's just completely made up. You know, everything in life is made up. So you know, put your hat on and try things differently. You know, I'm not saying the shooter stance or anything is the holy grail, but as in, I truly know that it works really, really well. Um, I recently had a um, a conversation with the New Zealand current New Zealand singles champion. Um, when was it? It was about two months before he won the national singles, and and he was talking about how he'd implemented the the shooter stance and how he'd never felt as though he'd hit his line better. Um, it just made sense, and he sort of didn't know why um, others hadn't been doing it. Anyway, within eight weeks of him implementing it, he won the national singles. Um, I know there's many, many people out there that use this and have known it for a long time. And I'm just the one that's prepared to stick my hand up and say, you know what, I don't care about winning trophies. I don't care about the gold medals. I just want to get this out there and help people. Um, because the more, the, you, the more you help people in life, the better you go. And I don't get too tangled up in politics or you did this or you did that, you know, because it doesn't fit their personal agenda. You know what, I don't have an agenda. I'm just going to... I've just put this out there because I want to show people a new way to do things that you know to get them start to think for themselves and to get out there and enjoy their bowls and get better at it because the better you get at it the the more fun you have because you know you fit in it's bowls is a competitive sport um, I wish the game was going better per se but you know we we all play because we enjoy it so you know this wasn't for gold medals or any other agenda at all this was purely to just put thing good things out there and you know eventually something will come back. So, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I really want to build up the channel more. Um, I'm going to go out and make some videos around driving, um, weighted shots. There's just so much information that I can help you with. And somebody needs to just stand up and put it out there and show people how to play the game properly. Like, when I was a junior, I had the, um, I had the privilege of having coaches like Don Sherman Sr., um, Bob Middleton, who was, um, he won a World Bowl silver medal. And I learned bits and pieces off all of them. Um, the peak performance stuff when it comes to the reprogramming of your mind, I think, is personally, is the most important thing you can learn. 
purely because if your paradigm's not set to win in terms of if you don't see yourself image as being a successful you know person in life per se or winning a bowls tournament for instance um, your unconscious mind will self-sabotage regardless of how good your form is um, so you'll find that the best players in the world have built up their paradigm and changed their self-image so that they can you know when they get to those peak moments where they must perform to win gold medals and national titles that instead of you know self-sabotaging and choking and shaking and um, losing by default that the opposite happens they get the big shots they you know the trailer jacks drive jacks in the ditch and the likes of you know jeremy henry and um your new cases and your omars and alex marshall paul foster these guys all have paradigm set to uh, to win so um comments below ask me what you want me to make of um i'm three quarters of the way through actually creating a, a full series on absolutely everything i know I've consciously decided that, okay, I'm not going to play this game competitively anymore, but it doesn't mean that I can't be the best coach in the world at lawn bowls. So I'm putting it out there. Share this stuff. Other people need to know. Hope you enjoy the channel. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe. You know, please, subscribe. If you want this content, I'm putting it out there. So it doesn't take anything to hit the subscribe button and, um, you know, you'll have it delivered to your, your email when YouTube decide they want to pump it out. So I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, share it. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.